Hello and welcome. Today the object of my desire is this minty clean 1985 Pontiac Parisian. It has a load down 52,000 kilometers or about 32,000 miles, which is insane for a car like this. This Parisian is being sold by the leasing company Ottawa located in, you guessed it, Canada's capital city of Ottawa. They have it listed for what would have been a princely sum of $8,995 Canadian, but in today's crazy market and given how unusually clean this car looks, taking that all into consideration, I'd say it's probably a pretty decent price by today's standards. The Parisian is built on GM's B-body platform, which underpinned their full-size cars in one form or another from the late 1950s to the mid-1990s. These cars are old-school body-on-frame with a front-engine, rear-wheel drive powertrain layout. Their roominess is second to none, so rest assured you'll have no issues hauling around your friends and their gear on a cross-country road trip. And that's where these cars shine. If you look up Highway Cruiser in the dictionary, you're going to find yourself nose to ink with a picture of a GMB body car. These cars are designed to turn long haul sojourns into living room sofa quality comfort. This is what American luxury used to be and this car represents a driving experience that really has no equal on the market today. Now, these sorts of cars aren't everyone's cup of tea. They are slow and built for effortless cruising, not performance. This particular car is powered by a 305 Chevy small block, which puts out a disappointing by today's standards 165 horsepower and 245 foot-pounds of torque. Zero to 60 comes along sometime in the next week or so, and you lose a drag race to a letter you plan on mailing tomorrow. Fuel economy is something like 22 miles per gallon on the highway, which isn't bad for an old V8, but there's a lot of power left on the table to achieve that number. And even so, with gas prices the way they are, there are a lot more appealing engine choices on the used market that either provide way better fuel economy or tremendously more power for the fuel being used. But here's the thing, nothing else will have the same character at that price and nothing else will be as comfortable on the highway at almost any price. So as long as you don't mind riding around in nearly two tons of metal being powered by something that's outclassed by almost every four cylinder on the market today, you'd be hard pressed to do better than this Parisian. Just for an apples to apples comparison, a similarly equipped 1985 Crown Victoria, which would have been a primary competitor to this car, would also have a five liter V8 achieving similar mileage but putting out even less power with 140 horsepower and only five more foot-pounds of torque to make up for it. And I can tell you from experience that the B-body platform from GM drives nicer than the Panther platform from Ford. I'm not sure what it is, but the B-body feels more buttoned down and solid than it's powered by Ford competitor. I've personally owned, or at least been the primary driver on, both a 1985 Caprice, which is a GM B-body, and a 1985 Ford Crown Victoria. And while the Crown Vic wasn't bad by any stretch of the imagination, it definitely felt like it had more in common with the driving dynamics of the 1960s than the Caprice. Not to say the Caprice was a modern day wonder car, because it wasn't. It's just that the Caprice felt a bit more evolved than the Crown Vic. However, if someone were to force me to choose which one I liked more, I'd have a real hard time making that decision. They're both great in their own way. But we're here to talk about this Parisian. So why do I want to buy this car, you ask? Well, that's simple. It's probably one of the cleanest examples of a B-body platform car on the market today. Would I prefer a Caprice over this Parisian? For sure. But that's just because of nostalgia. This car is basically identical to a Caprice in almost every way, except a few trim panels and some badges. There was one thing about these cars that I don't like, and that's the skirts over the rear wheels. And it's nothing personal, I just don't like them on almost any car they're installed on. It should be noted that not every year the Parisian came with these skirts, but 1985 was one of the years, so there they are. Other than that, I would be super proud to call this car my own. I hope it can find a new owner who will love and cherish it for years to come. So let me know what you think. Is GM's B-body platform superior to the Panther? What's your favorite B-body car? 
share a comment below, and let's get this old GM versus Ford big sedan rivalry sparked up. Thank you for joining me on today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like the video and subscribe. And don't forget to ding the bell so you don't miss it when I finally decide to post another video. Thanks again, TTFN. Thank you.